Hey guys, Starcat here, and we got the Slayer off the ground. We're only level 83, we're missing lots of things on the tree, lots of life, whatever. But I'm just going to quickly show you the build, how it works. It needs another day. I'm still missing my Uber Lab, so I'm missing 20% more damages. But this is what the build looks like. And that's a really shitty start. So, the kind of thing is you like punch hard once and you have enough damage to one shot most rares and the Prolef clears up the pack. This is a build which scales amazing with Dying Sun because the Dying Sun gives you plus two projectiles on the shrapnel shot, making the shrapnel shot feel a bit less shitty and it gives you more AoE. Now, when we get our Uber Ascendancy, we're going to get 20% more damage and we're also going to get more AoE. So, that's going to be pretty big quality of life on both the shrapnel and on the. Um, Herald, and we're currently running our Herald of Ash in a three link. This is with a Zoff's bow, not a Chin Sol. And the reason why we're doing that is so we don't need to run the elemental proliferation on a Herald, meaning we can run a flammability blasphemy, and it all just works rather nicely. The main flaw with this build, if you watch my buffs, you'll see my Ellie Overload is never active. And outside of dropping an Orb of Storms, I don't really know how to fix that. Yes, you can just drop Orb Storms, that makes the build feel a lot clunkier as you can see the whole thing is just like get as much movement speed as possible walk up to things and then role play a shotgun which is pretty enjoyable um it's amazing for both breach and beyond farming as you can see from my raid video where i show off a breach beyond farm this is me just quickly running a map before i go to bed because we just ended a nice long stream single target damage is okay this isn't abusing any fanciness however you can use a worm flask to cheese damage and my sixth link would be a 50% more multiplier because I would use concentrated effect on a sixth link which currently I'm not so yeah really you should have conk effects on your five link instead of physical projectile attack damage but I need to get the colors working and yes so you'd run shrapnel shots ellie focus fire pen wed or wed than five and that's your four then ideally if you have the off colors your fifth is conk and your sixth is physical projectile attack damage but that's that and again the way we get our aoe clear is through herald of ash increased burning damage with increased aoe and the whole build is around you just punch and ignite we can just run a random other map uh what's rolled that's rolled um, just so the whole thing is like you hit hard once and the Herald of Ash does all of your prolif AOE. This build, funnily enough, gets buffed with the proposed 3.0 changes. And I guess this is my opportunity to talk about it. So they recently gave a developer manifesto for um, 3.0 and how they're going to handle damage over time. They're going to make increased burning damage a more multiplier. This build does not double dip Herald of Ash at all. Uh, because the Herald of Ash damage is all just based off of overkill. Yes, okay, technically we benefit a little bit from fire damage scaling our initial and other things, but this isn't like a generic double dipping build because we use Ellie Focus on the shrapnel shot. All of the damage is just about the overkill. So the fact that they're going to be adding more support means this kind of build, from what we've currently seen, is only going to become more powerful in 3.0. And if you want to do melee variations of this, whatever, the only thing you really need is just a hard hitting ability and Herald of Ash. You can do this in any setup you want. In terms of how cheap, how budget, how this, how that, you don't even need to have a full fire conversion setup. All you need is just one big hit. So you can get this off the ground with just the two um, threshold jewels for shrapnel shot. And they've said that they're thinking of adding those to vendors or to quest rewards in 3.0. So this will probably be my go-to character I'll start the beta on. And this might potentially be a very good league starter for people. Because as you can see, the damage on it is pretty good. Proud of Ash Prolifts. You can do this as CI. You can do this as Elementalist if you want to get Prolift that way. So you need to use the bow. I think probably Elementalist getting Prolift for free would be the best way of doing it. If you're going to completely league start. Kind of approach but with the changes to ignites we might maybe see old school prolif come back so this is going to be a build to definitely look forward to in the future because i think this has some very interesting potential going forward 
One other important thing, ideally you want your Herald of Ash in a Essence of Delirium Gloves to get 30% more damage over time. You can also have it in Essence of Horror, I believe, for 30% more elemental damage in the Helm. However, I'm currently using a Devoto's Devotion to get more movement speed. The main limiting factor of the build is movement speed. I tried this on a Raider, it felt squishy, so I went Slayer. The Leech makes it feel really tanky, but now I feel like I just want to keep moving faster and faster and faster. In Softcore, do this with Queen of the Forest, and you have a Zoom Zoom Pog, Chank, but Pog Champ build. Hardcore, we have to use Combs. So yeah, I'm going to give a more detailed, like, breakdown, gear, guide, whatever, tomorrow, when I've actually, like, gotten my Uber Lab, when I've got an Iron Grip, when i filled in more DPS, more Life Nodes, whatever, but for now, proof of concept, it works really nicely. I'm Taki, have a nice day, bye-bye.